गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू योर यूट्यूब चैनल अत्री एकेडमी टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी द थर्ड चैप्टर ऑफ सिक्स क्लास साइंस फाइबर टू फैब्रिक सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस लर्न टुगेदर वी स्टार्ट द वीडियो विद द वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग टू विद द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ फाइबर व्हाट आर फाइबर्स द फाइबर्स आर द थिन फिलामेंट्स which when roll together form a thread like structure see take a look of this picture it is a thread uh, made up of a uh, plant fiber and in this if you can see if i zoom there are very very fine very fine filament these filaments are the fiber which uh, uh, together form thread so let we have a, uh, an activity uh, to make the study interesting first of all let we know by then activity how to remove the filament take a piece of a garment which is uh, 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 there present at your home of having no use now separate its thread with the help of a needle or you may take any other sharp object to see the arrangement the then we see that the threads they are in different way in the different types of the fibers say for example here i have given you in this picture the zoomed view of this picture show that there is an arrangement they these are criss cross uh, the threads uh, the filaments in the this uh, sorry the threads in the cloth these are criss crossed and uh, further uh, the if we take the needle and that is this thread then we will find this thread will further split into the fine filaments you can do uh, this same activity with the different type of the variety of the fibers and not it down in your notebook uh, what kind of the arrangement of the threads and uh, you find in the cloths of different types now on the basis of the sources the uh, fibers are obtained they are of two type natural fibers and the synthetic fiber the natural fiber are those which are obtained from the natural natural sources like plants and animals so natural fibers are of two type on the basis of uh, whether they are obtained from the plants or animals cotton jute silk and wool these are the example of the natural fibers and uh, those fibers which are obtained from the plants are called plant fibers take a look of this picture here it is cotton fiber uh, which we obtain from the cotton bolls a kind of the plant uh, and similar is the case the another example of the plant uh, fiber is jute now fiber which we obtain from the animals are called animal fibers and the examples are silk and wool take a look of this picture in this picture the cloth which is shown here is made up of the silk and the silk is obtained from the silk worm the silk worm they are reared on the uh, mulberry trees and they produce silk so silk is uh, obtained from an animal uh, from an insect uh, from a worm called silk worm so it is called uh, animal fiber <laughs> now there is a third type of the there is another type of the fiber synthetic fiber the fiber which are made by the human beings by the help of the chemicals different type of the chemicals because these are made by the help of the chemicals and by man this is why these are called man made fibers or the artificial fibers synthesized fibers or synthetic fiber all these are the same uh, because uh, in this way we see that all of these are unnatural because they do not exist naturally uh, we do not get them from plants or animals this is why these are called unnatural the different type of the uh, synthetic fibers are rayon nylon polyester and plastic in the picture you can see it is made of a polyester or uh, it's a polywool uh, uh, another type of the fiber uh, we will study later on in some other videos now it uh, now in the study we have uh, understood that uh, the fibers are uh, the fine filaments of the thread and these are of two type on the basis of the their structure natural or synthetic if they obtain from the natural sources these are called natural fibers like the plant fiber and animals if the source is plants uh, if the source is plant then it is called plant fiber the example are cotton and the jute 
and it is obtained from animal it is called animal fiber like the examples are silk and the uh, wool now how we will um, let we do an another very simple activity by the help of this activity uh, we will come to know uh, what type of the fibers we deal with in our day life in uh, different forms in the form of cloths and other things so this activity is uh, uh, with the identification of the fibers so i um, it's a very simple you can do at home first of all to uh, identify if the plant fi the fiber is uh, um, obtained from the plant take a cloth made up of the plant fiber and uh, you may you may take a cotton cloth and uh, hold this fiber very carefully uh, a small piece of it uh, with the tweezer uh, and uh, then light it up carefully means you burn it and then you will notice it produce a smell like the burning paper that's an odor as the paper is burning and it also produces the ash if any fiber which on burning produces ash and produce an odor or a smell like the burning of the paper it is said plant fiber because the paper is also obtained from the plant uh, from the plants it is uh, chemically made up of the uh, cellulose and cellulose is one of the plant product so burning of the paper is the same with that of if any other um, fiber which is obtained from the plants will give the same smell or same odor although there are different type of the activities uh, different type of the chemical tests uh, to identify but it is a very simple activity you can do at home and i hope you will do now uh, to identify now to identify the animal fibers now in case of animal fibers take an uh, exa uh, take a take a a uh, woolen cloth say or any cloth made up of the animal fibers and uh, say you may take a silk cloth and take it's a small piece with the help of tweezers and then burn burn it cautiously and when you burn it you will notice an odor like the burning of your hair and uh, up when up um, uh, it is burnt when the fiber obtained from uh, the cloth made up of the animal fiber it is burnt it shrinks to uh, to form a lump like you know because the hair that you take from uh, that you burn uh, your hair it gives a kind of the special uh, smell the same type of the smell is uh, uh, produced when an animal when an animal uh, fight because the wool if we take example wool 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 is also a hair it is was just the difference that it is fr obtained from the sheep goat and others animals and uh, but in case of but in case of uh, own beings the hair it is a fiber so it is very simple uh, test now to identify the synthetic fiber take a cloth made up of the synthetic fibers and take its uh, uh, fiber hold it with the tweezer and carefully burn it after burning it shrinks to form a lump like structure and then it produce a burning smell like the burning of the plastic because the plastic is also an artificial plastic is also an artificial fiber it is synthetic fiber so burning of the plastic is likely the same uh with the burning of uh, of the different uh, synthetic fibers so these are the activities you can do at home very simple activities to identify the plant cloth um, uh, plant fiber animal fiber and the synthetic fiber now uh the next is cotton cotton is uh, a natural plant fiber obtained from the cotton plant and the cotton plant is a kharif crop that is sown early in the summer means the a crop which is um, shown in summer or uh, in rainy season or in the primary uh, um, prior to rainy season it is called kharif crop so cotton is a kharif example of kharif crop and the cotton is a type of shrub the cotton plant is a, a type of shrub a shrub is that uh, in the different uh, number of the branches they uh, rises from very near to the ground from the stem and it is not of, of um, uh, much height 
it is hardly five to uh, four, uh, five, um, four or five six feet more and uh, so this category because of its size the plant uh, cotton plant is uh, uh, taken as the um, syrup and it bears citrus shaped fruit and this citrus shaped fruit these are called cotton balls in the cotton balls after the cotton balls they appear on the plant in three to four weeks these cotton balls they mature and then they dry up and when they dry up they open and uh, these uh, when this cotton ball opens after drying and uh, after getting matured a white fiber uh, of the cotton indulges out uh, having cotton seed in it and uh, this cotton it begins to bloom it is just like perfusion or the perfulan take a look of this picture it is a picture of a um, field uh, containing uh, having these uh, cotton plants and in the cotton plants the cotton balls they all are mature and these fibers uh, having um, these seeds in them they appear they are like the they bloom out they are like that snow on the ground they are white like like, like the snow and thus cotton is derived from the fruit of the cotton plants keep it in mind when we will go with the section of the uh, practice question in the book then there will be a question uh, where does the cotton obtain from the cotton is obtained from the fruit of the cotton plant the cotton ball and uh, the cotton the black soil is best for the cultivation of the cotton plants and uh, this cotton is uh, cultivated in india in madhya pradesh in uh, Maharashtra in Gujarat in Haryana in Punjab and Rajasthan and Tamil Nadu these are the state where the cotton is cultivated now there is another topic uh, ginning of the cotton or the cotton ginning the process of the separation of the cotton and the cotton seeds from the cotton is called cotton ginning the cotton that we obtain from the cotton balls it is this part this is said commonly cotton this cotton it contains fiber of the cotton uh, wrapped all around uh, the seeds and uh, the farmer they grind they can grind it by hand but now now these days the machines are there available to uh, for the ginning of the cotton take a look of this picture it is raw cotton which is obtained from the cotton balls it is having both seeds uh, covered with the cotton fiber now with this ginning machine when these uh, the cotton is raw cotton is uh, uh, introduced in this machine and it works and then the cotton seeds and the cotton fibers these are separated this way so this separation of the cotton seeds and the cotton fiber it is known as cotton ginning and it is done with the help of the machine now there is a third activity how can you make thread of the cotton take a little cotton and hold it in one hand and pull the cotton fibers with other hand and while pull keep twisting and wrapping them so that these fibers they are held close to each other and uh, holding the stem where and they create a thread like structure see in this video see it is a cotton the person is having this cotton in one hand and uh, it is pulling these fibers with the other hand and at the same time when it pulls it uh, is being wrapped and thus this cotton cotton thread is uh, formed so this is very simple activity i hope you should do at uh, your home go with it and uh, <coughs> now what is the use of the cotton obtains from the cotton balls the cotton is used many way it is used for making the cloths cotton towel cotton sari cotton kurta and the bed sheets to which we say chadar and the cotton is also filled in the pillow and the quilts uh, we use in the winter season now the another plant fiber is jute jute is also well known plant fiber jute is obtained from the stem of the plant now the cotton is obtained from the cotton balls the fruit of the cotton plant but unlike, uh, unlike to that jute is obtained from the stem of the plant it is a smooth and silky shiny uh, fiber and uh, jute is also a kharif crop which is shown in the last 
days in the summer or when it is the time for rainy season it is some misprinting so correct it uh, read it the way i read it and uh, it is a creep crop which is shown in the last days in the summer and when it is the time for the rainy season the jute plant is thin and it is tall about 9 to 10 feet in length and uh, jute is considered uh, best grown to be in clay soil which is often uh, near the deltic region of ganga and the brahmaputra what is the deltic area deltic area is that which is formed by the soil which the river they keep the uh, the river water it keep flowing the sand particles very several particles and when the um, water supply the pressure of the water supply is low then these sand particles they are spread to form delta it is the topic of geography and go with that in the geography section it is just an introduction what is delta and jute is cultivated in india mainly in west bengal bihar and assam how we get jute from the jute plant jute is cut at the time of flowering when the time of why at the time of flowering because at the, that flowering it appears when the flown is uh, when the plant is at uh, its full at its full growth so means the flowering is an indication that the plant has grown to its full so when it is flowering the plant is cut near from the mm, ground and then <coughs> the bundles of the jute plants are made and these are dried and when they dry the leaf are said and then these bundles of the jute stems are pressed into uh, sorry um, merged into water sources like the pond and the other then the microorganism they develop and uh, develop in the stem and they by the natural decay they decay the skin of the stem this causes the jute fiber to be separated from the stem this is how the jute fiber is uh, separated and uh, when by the microbial activities this fiber is uh, loosened on the stem it is pulled apart from the stem and then dried it, take a look of this picture uh, in this picture these are the fibers which are obtained from the stem of the jute and these are approximately 8 to 10 feet in length as just i told the plant is about 9 to 10 feet so such is the uh, height is the same the jute is used for making bardana bardana means these are the bags of stock uh, to uh, fill them with the grains and uh, these are the carry bags of, for the grains like uh, in the um, food corporation the grain which is uh, um, bought from the farmers it is stored here in the bags made of uh, jute jute is also used for making carpets now another plant uh, fiber is flax flax is uh, a natural fiber obtained from a flax plant the linen which we wear very commonly it's a very nice fiber and the cloth made of linen are very good and comfortable these fiber are also obtained from the stem like that of jute and uh, it is here shown so fine it is it these are the flax these are the flax fiber very fine very fine and silky and comfortable and uh, to promote the use of the uh, natural fibers the government of india has established a commission which is known as khadi and gramadog commission in 1956 uh, to promote the use of the natural fibers now the next topic is spinning what is spinning the process of making thread or from the fibers is called spinning just i said you an activity go and do that this uh, simple uh, tactic for spinning is uh, by the use of handcuff called spindle she take example of this the man is uh, making the child learn how to spin from the fiber it is the spinning of the charkha the another tip for manual spinning is spinning with wheel that is known as charkha and it is also done with the help of the machines the machine they very quickly uh, spin the co cotton fibers or uh, another fibers into thread now what is weaving the process of making the garments by the arranging 
the sets of the threads together is called weaving there are two main method of making textile from the yarn means the process of making yarn is called spinning and now this uh, uh, weaving is the process of making garments from the threads and there are two main method of making the textile from the yarn the one is weaving and the another is knitting the weaving is the process of creating garments by the arrangement of two or more sets of the threads take a look of this picture uh, there are many threads these are arranged uh, these are if you taken um, these are vertical and the horizontal threads are uh, interwoven in them this is uh, called weaving and the knitting knitting is the process of making clothes using the only one thread it is called knitting take example of making the sweater from the wool and uh, see here the only thread if you pull one thread the entire sweater can be uh, uh, unknitted and uh, this is all about uh, weaving now the next topic is uh, history of the textile material in ancient time uh, the people they were not the human beings were not civilized they used to stay naked in the jungles but probably due to the adverse weather condition they were forced the earlier human beings were forced to cover their body with the animal skin the tree leaves or the bark and uh, they when they invented that learned to get um, to sow the crop and they when learned to do the agriculture they started to live uh, in the uh, communities and this was the beginning this was the milestone for the development of the evolution of the civilization of human civilization and men learned to make the clothes probably he learned to make mats from the thin twigs and grass then the man uh, started making long ropes by twisting thin branches of the trees tree fibers and animal weaves weaving these long ropes also started preparing long pieces of the clothes and then he started to cover the body with the pieces and now these days you can well see how man has grown so civilized and is perfect master making the different variety of the clothes very nicely and finely and uh, now according to information available in history the textile manufacturing was first started in china and then in india and then in egypt so these are the three main countries which are reported in the history to have the textile manufacturing these are china india and egypt now in the, <coughs> the now it is the time for the practice question i hope if you have uh, uh, carefully studied entire uh, um, carefully uh, listen to me and uh, tried your best to understand you must along with me uh, sorry uh, spontaneously um, give the answer of this question the very first question is this classify the following fibers into the natural and synthetic nylon wool cotton silk polyester because uh, here we take uh, wool cotton and silk as natural because these are all from the natural sources wool from the uh, goat and the cotton and um, from the plant cotton plants and silk from the silk worm these are the natural sources so these are categorized as natural fibers and nylon and polyester these are um, synthesized by the man by the chemicals so these are classified as the synthetic fibers the second question the statement given below so mark them as true or the false yarn is made from fibers it is here yarn y a r n yarn is made from fibers is it wrong or right it is true yarn is made from fibers spinning is a process of making fiber oh it's wrong spinning is not a process of making fiber fibers are made in nature uh, itself or um, by man but spinning is a process of making the cloth from the thread so b is wrong jute is the outer covering of coconut it is another uh, wrong of uh, wrong statement here because jute is the outer covering of the jute stem uh, jute plant the, uh, the peel of the stem but here it is given as the outer covering of coconut coconut is a different um, plant so it is wrong again the process of uh, removing seed from the cotton is called ginning it is right here 
because ginning is a process of uh, separating co co cotton fibers and the cotton seeds so d is right d uh, then it is e again weaving of yarn makes a piece of fiber fabric sorry fabric it's uh, it's a uh, right answer because when yarn is weaven it makes a piece of fabric a cloth so it is right now the next is silk fiber is obtained from the stem of plant it is wrong because silk fiber is obtained from the silk worm silk worm so it is wrong polyester is a natural fiber it is again wrong polyester is a synthetic fiber it is natural fiber so these are the answer to the questions uh, whether the statement is true or false <coughs> go with them now another question fill in the blanks with appropriate words plant fiber are obtained from blank and blank the plants fibers are obtained from cotton plants and jute plants because the two blanks are given because we get cotton from the cotton plants and jute from the jute plant cotton uh, from the cotton balls the fruit of the cotton plant and the jute is obtained from the stem as the peel of the stem now the another uh, is b animal fibers are blank and blank the animal fiber are wool and, and silk because the wool is obtained from the sheep goat yak llama alpaca these are all animals and uh, so these fibers are animal fiber and the silk is obtained from the silk moth silk moth silk um, silk moth is another animal so now next question cotton and jute are dried from which part of the plant as i just said you cotton is obtained from the ripen and dried fruit cotton balls uh, of the cotton plants and the stem of the jute and uh, jute is obtained from the stem uh, it is the uh, it is the peel of the stem now another question write the name of the two items made from the coconut fiber you know coconut a uh, dried coconut you must be uh, well familiar with it that the coconut is coated with fibers these fiber are used making the ropes and the foot mats in you widely use at your home foot mats now the next and the last question explain the process of making yarn from fiber we have already explained you but again for uh, this uh, better explanation the process of making yarn out of fiber is called spinning in this process the fiber are pulled out from one piece of a cotton or wool or whatever is the kind of uh, uh, fiber and pulling the fiber are being twisted while pulling the fibers are twisted or wrapped so that these fiber are held close to each other and creating a thread like structure by doing this the filaments gets closer and thus the yarn is formed so it is simple as in the activity we said when we wrap it the fibers they come close and they are a wound and they uh, form thread so this is all for the day we will be back with the next video in the next video we will uh, study the next chapter and uh, until that keep watching the video and you can download the pdf file of this uh, um, lesson from the description box and don't forget to subscribe and share the channel and uh, press the bell icon so that Whenever the next video is uploaded, you get the timely notification. Goodbye for that. Thank you very much.